All right, radio broadcasting class. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few things I might do if I was making a radio show promo, and I'm also going to make intro and outro bumpers while I'm at it. All right, so I have a promo here, and I've got a voiceover recorded, and I've got some music ready to go and some other uh, effect things I'll show you later. And uh, the first thing uh, I want to talk about is the fact that this this is kind of a unique voiceover in that it's 27 seconds long, and I'm trying to make a 30-second promo, so I've got to make it all fit. I don't really have enough time to have the music start before the voice and then trail out after the voice like we might normally do, so I need to make it fit tight. So I've decided that I want the music to kind of drop in in a cool spot, like a music drop, after the voiceover starts. And I happen to have this cool attention-grabbing hook at the beginning of my voiceover that sounds like this. Oh! Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random. All right, so I've got that, oh, you do not, and the music can drop right there, and it's a really cool uh, sounding thing to do, and that keeps my beginning space tight, so I've conserved time. So now, uh, the one thing, though, is the music is kind of loud. I need to already have the music ducked under the vocal for this, so I'm going to go ahead, click on the music track. I'm going to click on the volume line right there and bring it down to roughly minus 8. So we'll go with minus 7.9. That'll be just fine. And now from the beginning, it's this. Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random because we're going to talk about puppies. That. All right, perfect. So now the music is ducked under the vocal right from the beginning because the voice starts first. So there we go. Now, we, when we get to the end of the voiceover, I don't have a lot of time for music afterwards. I need it to finish up quickly. So the end sounds like this. Get time. Check our website to find out when. All right, so I've got that ding, 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 bing sound right there that would be great if it ended there. But it doesn't. So let me show you the uh, whole track. It's actually a three and a half minute music track. And let's listen to the end of it. Wow, it's got that same do 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 ding and it trails out. That's the finished part of the, the produced ending that they already made. So guess what? I want that at the end of my promo. So I'm going to delete all the space in between. I'm going to drag this forward. I'm going to zoom in right here. I'm going to find that spot here. Now when? Now when? And find out when. I'm Check our website to find out when. I got bang, bang, when. Let's listen to this one. Really, that bang, bang is all I need. Bang, bang. And that's here. I have to find out when. Right there. So I'm going to trim this back to that. Close. Trim this up to that. Close. Right there. Get it over there. Now, the fun part. We're going to zoom in tight on it so I can really see what I'm doing. To find out when. To find out when. And really, I want... I want this waveform here to be exactly where that waveform is right there. I'm just going to drag this right to the edge of that waveform. And we're going to take it right there. And now that edge, that edge of that waveform is where I'm going to put this edge of this waveform and let the rest crossfade. So let's do it. Boom. Bam, bam. Right there. Boom. Now let's listen to timing. Start to find out when. Cool, check it out. This is the end of my promo now. To That's So Random each week at a randomly selected time. Check our website to find out when. Beautiful, and you see it fades out, and there's the 30-second mark, and it is done. So that is a perfectly timed promo. Now, I do need to have the volume of the music ramp up right after the word when. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Hmm... There, I'll put it when. Boop, 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 boop. I don't want it to move around. I just want it to be here right at the end of the word when. And back to zero for, uh, I want it to trail right there. So let's listen to what that sounds like. To find out when. Cool, pretty good. I'm going to move it a little bit later, just right there. And frankly, I'm going to move this forward some to right about there. Now I got a quicker rise. Let's see how that sounds. Our website to find out when. 
Nice. Like it. Bam, bam, ding, 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 bing. All right. So now I've got the, the music duct uh, minus 8 dB in this case underneath my vocal. And then it pops up at the end and I've got the ending tagged on and I've got it uh, sounding pretty good. So the beginning sounds like this. Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random because we're going to talk about puppies. And the ending sounds like this. Time. Check our website to find out when. Beautiful. So I've got some vocal effects down here now that I'd like to show you. I'm going to unmute those. I recorded a bit there and a bit there and a bit there and a bit there. And uh, these sound like this. Time. Check our website to find out when. That's so random. So that's kind of raw sounding, but I've got uh, that so right here. And I've got uh, three harmony parts. Random, random, random. And it's just my voice. And it sounds kind of raw and out front and yucky. And so... Um, but they, I'm going to do something to make them sound better. Time. Check our website to find out when. That's so random. All right, cool. What I've got is I've got effects set up that I'm going to turn on to help those sound better. So let me go to the effects, uh, the effects tab or whatever you want to call it, um, mode on the channels here of Adobe Audition. And you can see my effects are already in place. I've got a chorus that looks like that. And uh, I'm going to close that. And I've got a reverb. Everything needs a reverb. It looks like this. This is a actually kind of a fat, really short reverb that just it gives it some ambience. It's not a long reverb for that one. The reverb reverb down here, so you go here for these, is, um, well, it's the same. All right, perfect. So let's turn them all on. So we'll go chorus, reverb, chorus, reverb. I'm skipping that parametric. Chorus, reverb, chorus, reverb. Now, the parametric EQ I skipped. I have an EQ on these harmony parts, random, and it looks like this. The parametric EQ high pass, which means it rolls off all the low end up to 500 hertz, and it boosts at, at 4,500 hertz or 4.5K kilohertz. 6 dB, it boosts uh, the, the, the frequencies there. So what that does is it produces a very bright and thin sound. I put that on all of my harmony vocals, so I get a that so and then random, real thin and bright and chorusy. I'm going to turn those on. And now, what was just my voice sounds like this. Time. Check our website to find out when. So, so, way more cooler and fun. Great. Everything needs reverb and some things need chorus. So, let's go back up to my original voiceover. And guess what? I've got a chorus and reverb set up there. Let's turn on the chorus so you can hear that and the reverb. And from the beginning. There we go. Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random because we're going to... All right, so cool. That chorus sounds great on the oh, but it is not going to sound good to hear it the entire time on the whole voiceover. So I want it to go away. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to copy this voiceover to this track below it. And I'm going to hold Alt and then click and drag. And that... I'm going to try that again. Alt, click, drag. And that creates a copy... And I'm going to put it right down below it at the beginning of the file, at the beginning of the uh, session here. And so they're perfectly aligned, both doing exactly the same thing. Oh, you do not want to miss the... So they're in sync. And now I'm going to trim back the one that I want the chorus, which is on the chorus track to where that is. And I'm going to trim the other one that doesn't get the chorus this direction. Click and zoom. And I'm going to... Oh, you do not... All right, so the word not is right there. That's the word not. Oh, you do not. All right. So what happens is what I have decided is that right before the word not, I want to be have the chorus on the word not. I want the chorus to be gone and I want the uh, just the reverb to take over. But I want the uh, and, and the reverb. Well, here. Oh, you do not want. So you've got this hard break right there. Oh, you do not want. All right, so I'm going to bring it a little bit further. So I want the you do not to be the transition area, but it can't be a hard transition like that. It needs to crossfade. So I'm going to just do that by having, trimming it accordingly and setting a straight linear fade on both of them, an out and an in on top of each other. So now what happens is the chorus fades out. And because they're doubled up, in a sense, right here for a second, it accentuates the you do not. So from the top, you get this. Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random, because we're going to talk about 
puppies. All right, so that is perfect. Now, I have that uh, done. I've got the intro. I've got the uh, chorus effect. I've got the transition to reverb only. And then I've got the um, ending, little, little effect tags, uh, f- and, and the uh, effects on all of that, and the ending all trimmed up and, and clean. And this promo is ready to go. So I'm going to right-click on that. Mix down session, a new file. I blocked my view there with the camera. Entire session. That's going to show up over here in the uh, waveform editor side of Adobe Audition. It's beautiful. I'm just going to trim right to 30 seconds exactly. Well, no, not there. Let me do the let me do the beginning first because that's going to take a little time off. So we'll just trim that clean. Put a little fade for good practice to avoid any clicks and pops. Go to the end, uh, fade out right there. The 30-second mark now is right here. Ha! Gone. This is an exactly 30-second promo. Put a little out fade just for good practice to keep away any evil clicks and pops. Now, I'm gonna, I want to boost this by i like the level of it overall i'm just going to boost it by 3db because i need it to be limited to minus 3db that's what we do for radio so let's go ahead and pull up the hard limiter boom minus three maximum i'm going to boost it by three not six so there's 3db and apply that you know, because when we play stuff on radio, the radio station compresses it even more. So we don't need to over compress. Here's the entire promo. Oh, you do not want to miss the next installment of That's So Random because we're going to talk about puppies. That's right. Puppies and hairspray. Why puppies and hairspray? Because that's so random. But seriously, you'll be amazed to find out what you can do with hairspray on a dog, especially a long haired one. Just don't let them lick themselves. So be sure and tune in to That's So Random each week at a randomly selected time. Check our website to find out when. That's so random. Nice. That is an awesome promo. I love it. I'm going to save that by going Command S and I'm going to call that That's So Random. Da, 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 promo. That's so random promo, waveform, uh, that's all good, perfect. That's so random promo saved. All right, back to the session, the multi-track session. Now, I'm going to save this session right now by hitting Command S. The session is saved. Now, I'm going to do a save as, save as, to make another session. I'm going to call this That's So Random Outro Bumper. And I think the location is correct. That's good. That's so random. Outro bumper. Now I can take the elements that are here, mess about with them, and make something else. So the first thing I know is I don't want this voiceover, so I'm just going to mute that. I do want the music and the, uh, and the ending thing that I've created, and I do want these things. I just pretty much want this. That's so random. Yeah. So... Well, another thing I know I don't want for my outro bumper is I don't want the volume change. So I got to get rid of that. I'm just going to get rid of that line altogether. I can even get rid of that line. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to take this back to zero manually. Yeah. And then this one as well, back to zero. So now the music is at, at, at full volume at zero dB. And uh, that's good for this because we're only getting the ending pieces. So here is the end of the promo at 31 seconds, roughly. We could say 30. I could, I could even trim this back. But I won't. I want the music. I want a 10 to 15 second outro bumper. So I'm going to come back to 20 seconds. Let's try it. I'm going to click from here and I'll and I'll practice. I'll be like, OK, after these messages, we'll be right back with more. And we'll talk about this and that. So see you in a minute on. That's so random. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's 10 seconds. So let's just cut it right there. Command K to cut. Click, delete. Great. Now I've got it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make sure I've got a clean start. That's that rhythm right there. I'm going to give myself one more beat. I like the music sounds better. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. All right, cool. Now, what we need to do is have it fade in, a long fade in. So it's going to be like this. Linear fade all the way along. So now, and we need to bounce that out. I think that's going to be perfect. So let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm just going to highlight, drag and highlight the amount of time that I want to bounce out. And then I'm going to go right click 
Mixed uh, mix down session, a new file. Time selection, right there. Time selection. And it's just going to mix down the stuff that is being heard, you know, and then uh, to the time selection. I'm going to do the same... Uh, the same amount of hard limiting I did before, and it's still going to be there because I just used it. So it's a minus three cap and a minus and a three dB boost, and I'm going to apply that. Kaboom! And then I'm going to trim it back. Uh, I'll do a little trim there and a good practice outro fade. A little trim there and a good practice intro fade. And now let's try it out. I'm going to do a little practice. This is be uh, simulating what would be happening in the real world. So that's it. That's uh, us. We're talking about that's pretty much how it goes when you're using a hair dryer and a hairspray on a poodle. I mean, those curls just come right out. Be sure and stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few minutes and we're going to talk about something you can do with a flat iron on your schnauzer. That's so And that's how you use an outro bumper that would go into a commercial break at that point. That is awesome. I'm going to save that one and I'm going to call that. That's so ran- random. Outro bumper. Everything else is good. Save. Back to the multi-track session. Command S. Save. Uh, file. Save as. Right there. And I'm going to call this one, you guessed it, intro bumper. All right. That's so random. Intro bumper session. Saved. Now. Now. Show all. I want this. I'm gonna, I am gonna. got to get rid of this fade. I'm going to undo what I did there. I don't need the end. I want the intro bumper to be the beginning of the song. So I, wherever that is, somewhere in here. There. Cool. Beginning of the song. Guess what? I don't need these. I don't need to mute them, actually, because they're not going to be a problem. But what I do need is this track that I've pre-recorded and prepared for this tutorial. I need to bring it up top. So let's get, whoops, watch out for zooming. Let's bring it up here. There. Boom. This track I've pre-recorded, and it sounds like this. I'm going to unmute it and uh, actually solo it for you by muting the other tracks there. So it sounds like this. That's so random. That's just my voice. No big deal, right? I wanted it to be lower in pitch, so I went ahead and added a pitch shifter, and that looks like this. I turned it down by three semitones. Those are half steps. And these other settings and high precision and stuff, I tweaked a little bit to make sure it sounded as good as possible. So when I turn that on, it sounds like this. That's so random. Cool. I like that. So now I also need the chorus effect because that is a really useful for anything uh, to make it sound larger than life. So I'm going to turn on the chorus effect, same one I've been using on the other things, and the studio reverb, same one I've been using on the other things. Now it sounds like this. That's so random. Awesome. Put it with the music, and you get this from the beginning. That's so random. Awesome. And there's that ding, 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 bing. So I'm just going to trim to that. Just do a command K to break it. Click. Goodbye. I can leave that. That piece there is not useful. And it won't won't be, uh, won't play a part in this. So. Fine. Uh, I'm going to go a little further. Fine. That's good. Because it's going to fade out. So now we need the same type of fade on the after the that's so random right there. Straight fade. And it should sound like this. That's so random. Cool. That's going to be great. Let's bounce it. So highlight the section. Right click. Mix down session to new file. Come on, come on. Time selection. Boom, there it is. Effects. Hard <laughs> hard limiter. Minus, uh, minus 3 dB cap. A 3 dB boost. Boom, there it is. Trim up the beginning. Raw right here. Boom, da, 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 da. A little good, good practice fade. Shift to the end. That one doesn't need to be trimmed. It's good. Show all. From the beginning, we have this. That's so random. And we're back. 
So now we're going to talk about what happens with a schnauzer. So there you go. That's uh, that's an intro bumper that would come in from a commercial break. It's short. It's sweet. It announces your your show. And uh, the, the, the thing to remember with what I'm showing you here is that you can take a single multi-track session, do a save as, as many times as you want, and use elements that are already there, turn them on and off, add elements, and build and create all kinds of different things that keep intact the general theme of your show. Like, I'm still going to use the music I've, I've got there. I'm still going to use the effects I've already got there. I don't have to rebuild all of those. I can just turn them on and off. I can record other things. and I can do anything I want. Anything that comes to mind, I can just throw it into this session really quickly, mess it about, and make something uh, slightly different or maybe very different, but it has the same thematic vibe because I'm using the same template session that I set up from the beginning. So this is a really cool way to create a lot of elements for your show. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and I'll see you the next time I have a good enough reason to make one of these things. That's so windows.